I'm Hilton Collins with Government Technology Magazine, and I'm standing outside of the Desert Living Center, a complex of beautiful buildings inside the Springs Preserve, a facility designed to show the people of Las Vegas how to live in harmony with their environment and how those lessons can be examples to the rest of the world. The Springs Preserve is a unique Las Vegas attraction with a bevy of features, including green technology, like photovoltaic panels that convert sunlight into electricity. But not all of that technology is as cutting edge as you think. And certainly there are examples of cutting edge technology here, particularly with the solar panels and, and various other things. But a lot of the technology that we have used in the construction of the buildings is in fact something that's uh, oftentimes seen as ancient or old. Some of the building walls were made with straw bale, a construction technique that's several thousands of years old. Another thing is we've got these cooling towers here. And the cooling towers, you know, of course, hot air rises. They suck up the hot air up the tower. Think of it as a chimney. And then it's blowed back down through a watery membrane, in this case, fiberglass. That water, so the air that comes through that watery membrane is now a couple degrees cooler than the air that began. And so you are actually spending less money to air condition your building. The benefits here in Las Vegas for something like that are one, you get a little bit of extra moisture for us. That's, that's good, it's very, very dry here. But a lot of times people think, oh, that's really fancy. And in fact, it's not fancy. It's something that's been used in the Middle East for thousands of years. A minaret on a mosque is essentially a cooling tower. It's the same idea. Some of these ancient techniques are even underground. There are buildings with radiant floor heating, tubes beneath the floor with hot water flowing inside that heat the room above, a process that was used at least as far back as the Roman Empire. The preserve, which has board members from the Las Vegas Valley Water District, teaches visitors about green living in places like the Sustainability Gallery. Walk inside and you'll see a display showing what happens to your water after you flush your toilet or use your sink. Other displays extol the virtues of recycling and reuse while they educate you about where your garbage goes after you throw it away. And movies reinforce the message. There are interactive screens teaching you green buying habits. And life-size displays show you how to green up your kitchen, bathroom, and washroom. These lessons are applicable in Las Vegas and elsewhere. Las Vegas is seen as a leader in water conservation. So we're often hosting folks from the Middle East, from Africa, from Asia, wanting to see how things happen here. So they'll often have meetings with the folks of the water district and then they are brought over here to look at how those things are implemented in action. 